So tell me again why. All right. You're right. Your LLC does own assets. Okay. Not bad. All right. Income, and we'll talk about this a little later, but there's a number of different types of income on the tax return. There's passive income, active income, portfolio income, and we'll talk a little bit about this later on, or more on Saturday. Real estate, income from real estate, is generally is a passive activity. So in Tammy's case, Tammy has a business. She's got a real estate business, and she also has investments. She has rental properties. The rental properties are passive. What you want to do in order to create income to deduct a lot of your other expenses, you need to convert a piece of that. Piece of the, the easiest way to do it is through management is, is into operating income. <coughs> and from there, you can deduct other expenses and those sorts of things, and we'll get we'll get into that and also the tie-in to retirement plans. That's right. So because the company is because we're doing well now and the company's now paying me a management fee because I am managing all the businesses, because we're getting that, I'm getting that income now, that's where we now need to be in escort, because, so we're not taxed at a higher tax rate. Yes. Okay. The other piece of that is that typically if you are a, if you are the sole owner of an LLC, that's referred to as a disregarded entity, okay? And you don't really need to remember that, but what you do need to remember is that just shows up on your individual income tax return as if you owned it in your own name, right? So a lot of times we own real estate, our rental properties and LLCs, right? And why do we do that? And by the way, this is gonna be participatory, so I'm no sleep. Okay. So the reason you do that is what? Asset protection, right?